guys good morning how are you okay yeah, this is morning time how are you guys doing how has everything been like this last week was just a lot for me like that's why probably if you see me not really ginger today you just understand anyways welcome to my channel i am ayolash welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in and i really want to appreciate you all for your support for the subscriptions for the likes i really really appreciate everything thank you guys so much for the love so yeah if you're new here please 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 if you, and if you've not even subscribed please subscribe like literally it's just free please subscribe it's it motivates me to do better to do better content and everything and also please like the videos please comment anything if you feel like oh yes this video was actually like inspirational oh yeah it spoke to you just comment down below because it's like helps me see things and also seeing your own point of view as to things that i'm talking about and also please um share like i mean there's joy in sharing in as much as there's joy in giving there's also joy in sharing that's another means of giving so please guys should support me and welcome welcome you guys like last week was just a whole lot for me surely this weekend like i don't know but i i thank god for strength today like even being able to go to church and all of that today is sunday so that's why i said let me quickly shoot this video check in time because i don't want to be late for church so anyways you guys everyone yeah today i'm going to be talking about my point of view my pov on modesty and this particular topic this particular teaching is <laughs> is funny because hmm, i can't believe i'm the one talking about this because <laughs> the eyelash that people used to know <laughs> i oh my god god is really is really patient i was not a fan of modesty i would not lie so that maybe along this journey you guys might see some people maybe something might come up from my past but also that that was like going at those days like i mean I used to be this person that was all about exposing like my cleavage so much wearing like I was just all about a bag a bag like that kind of life basically and I continued doing it even like small small even while I started becoming a new believer I continued to do it even when I really entered my uh, relationship this person knew like he was really aware that oh yes this is how she is I know but you know one funny thing is that one 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 funny thing is that there was a day like this that he asked me that oh like how do I feel about like maybe after a while like when we are married and all of that uh, would I be willing to like oh maybe adjust the way he wasn't even telling me that I should not like like I should stop dressing the way I used to dress like but it was more like oh would you be willing as far because we're gonna have children and obviously we don't want our children to be seeing me wearing clothes that is just barely the nipple that is covering all those kind of things and I was like no I can never I can do, never do this da, 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 da. and nothing can never make me change Only and he didn't even say it's just like okay no problem I love you all the same and I continue to like what one Thing that one <laughs> day, that's how this be just that day. I was just by oh, this be just told me how it is gonna come here. All these clothes they always wear, all these clothes she still have and wear. Like, he asked me a question that what exactly are you advertising? Like, and I was just like, eh. I'm not like I'm, I was talking to this week. I was like, it's not like I'm advertising anything, you no. Know, but it's just that, you know, now we gentees, this da 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 da. 
and it was just like you are a vessel of god you are a vessel of god being a vessel of god you are trying to you are meant to sell the gospel of christ you're talking to people you're preaching to people you're teaching people basically and imagine you teaching people the word of god and all your breast is out there everything is out there and then are you telling me that they will listen to you or what would be their focus and first of all they will look at the vessel of god and be like is this the vessel of god yes the bible tells us that god looks at our inward inward hearts basically looks at our hearts but in a way also it still looks at before because before we buy something basically the first thing i will come in contact with is the outward not the inward i won't it's until when i've paid for it i'll be able to like open it to see the content of it so that's when you know told me how you are trying to win souls for christ you're teaching people what examples are you like showing them like yes you're saying you're jesus's baby and you know that jesus's baby would never dress this way would never do this would never do that and i was like oh okay and since that day i just decided that you know what no problem i even have funny thing is i have plenty of things so and i now realize that dressing this way dressing that way like it makes no difference still in sense that i'm still beautiful the way i am like you do not remove anything from my body it didn't it didn't kill me it didn't change me it didn't change the fact that oh yes i, I will not get people that would like watch my youtube video. like basically like my life is better basically and so when i now spoke to my um man that would oh, do you know what the Holy Spirit spoke to me that I have to do this, I have to do that. And this person was just like, you know, if one thing that he prayed over this thing when I told him it that that time. This was like two months after we had this that I will not believe that he prayed over it because he knew that he couldn't like he's not God and he cannot like enforce something like it's just and he loves me regardless so he just really hoped that oh okay the holy spirit could talk to me and i was like you're not gonna put me to god so basically what i'm driving at is the fact that see in as much as we are doing gen z millennials oh i can dress a certain way i can and i'm that doesn't now say that oh i'm now like mama church or like but like they are, I can still be classy and modest basically and I'm still very beautiful I mean like I'm still very pretty I'm still beautiful irregardless so like so why not just dress better that is mo a, a way that is befitting for Christ so that I can be able to confidently sell the gospel of Christ why not do what is pleasing to the Lord instead of thinking of what I feel is right? God has set a standard, and this standard involves a lot of things, dropping a lot of things. And if I want to eat from the benefit of God, and this is not to talk that oh, the benefit of God or the relationship with God is transactional, but just understanding that I'm a vessel of God. Like, this is God's body basically and imagine me misusing his vessel anyhow misusing his body anyhow because now as at now I'm still married to God still married to Christ so until when I, my husband now comes and then I'm officially married to him then we are now married to God again so like for now I'm like God's wife I'm God's wife basically and we are god's um wives and we should do what is pleasing to him i mean they say i know for a fact there was one day i now even tested the theory i went to church with one red dress i was saying god yeah so maybe if i can wear this those days then i can wear it to church since you said that what i should do 
I was just trying to test theories we could. I mean, normally in church, I sit in front. So that day, <laughs> the pastors sent people because they asked to give me a handkerchief to cover up my chest. And I was just like, God. That moment, I felt so disgusted by what I did because, I mean, it made no sense. It made no sense. And it made me just feel a type of way. And I just said that, no. In as much as that dress is not like, it's not befitting for the house of the Lord, basically. Or maybe when I'm going out, even the going out self, like, it just, that's the thing. It just, it's not not befitting for God. And I've been on this journey for almost six months now. Oh, wow. Almost six months now. And I know what God has done. So if God, in my life, if God is telling me to stop certain things, at the end of the day, it's for my best interest. It's for my interest, not just because it feels like it is right. It's for my interest, for my good. And he only has my best interest at heart. And I had to like just come to that place of understanding that God has my best interest at heart. And I have to like, excuse me, go in alignment to what he wants. And he would never want me. I want to be the vessel of God. I want to be a vessel of God. You will not want a vessel that is exposed, a vessel that is not befitting basically he wants a beautiful vessel so that's this, this this now brings to the point that in as much as we all these us gen z's we use this line of god looks at the inside and not the outside but also we are trying to win souls for christ we're trying to sell the gospel of god because the devil also sells his own gospel so myself i'm selling my gospel of god let's sell the gospel of god and christ we have to also be the image of Christ. And the image of Christ is not exposed. It's not something that is not befitting. And when we are all the way we are, basically, it's not reading Christ in the right manner. It's not reading God in the right manner. Because when you approach someone, you're talking to them about God and they're looking at you like, you is it like basically god is not if god is not able by that but the fact that you know your mission on earth is to win souls for christ be fishers of men you want to be a fisher of men and then when you meet men the first thing they will ask you is what's like that's the first thing they'll first look at you like ah hey, well, to, to see this person that is bringing that is preaching that is teaching that is and they will be and that one is already like that one is already off it and that's another thing brings us to the point where in romans that it tells us that it tells us that we should not cause our brethren to sin basically our fellow men to sin our fellow humans to sin basically so if we're doing things that will cause them to sin that should be like something that we would think about so and modesty is beautiful honestly modesty is beautiful just being I'm not saying that oh, okay come on i'll be doing total echo no i'm just saying that just do things in moderation so that you can be like a, the proper image of christ the proper image of god because if you're not doing it in moderation if you're not looking like what you're selling then you won't sell your market well so let's do better to like let our outward look be better let us be a semblance of God. Let's resemble Him. What will God do? Whenever you want to take steps, just think of what will God do in this situation? What is God expecting of me? So, and if God would not be happy with this, then I shouldn't do it. So that's like, I just, I feel like this is just what I was just meant to say today. Let's do better. In as much as yes, we are Gen Z, let's also and millennials, let's also remember that the things we do today, tomorrow our children will see them. That that point made me realize that eh, I have to be very careful as to things that I'm doing because I don't want my children to come and say, Mommy, you did these things when you were younger, so you have no say, you have 
no no tired of mine mm -hmm. so that's the dream i'm trying to leave a good trail for my kids to follow basically and it's not just because of anything but also my children the um impression that i'm trying to give people that want to i want them to see the beauty of god so i feel like we should try to do better and god will help us happy sunday make sure you go to church tomorrow i mean go to church so anyways thank you guys for watching i appreciate it. i love you guys thank you so much please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share share to your people tell them that the beauty of God is very, very beautiful, and they need to know this thing and understand it. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll be back with more videos. So thank you. Thank you.